Hello friends, so we are solving the first is, uh, uh, weekly contest 458. So minimum maximum component cost. So uh, we are given an undirected connected graph with n nodes leveled from 0 to n minus 1. And the 2D integer array adds. Where adds is giving like ui vi. So this is an a adds from ui node to vi node with weight equal to w wi. This is given like this. So you can visualize like this. So these are the edge and the third uh, value is the weight of that edge. For example, like this, if this is a connected graph, you can see here 0 to 1 is the edge and this black colored value is the weight of that edge. So let's read the question further. So uh, there is an integer a k is also given to us. So we are allowed to remove any number of edges from the graph such that the resulting graph has at most k connected components okay so if we are removing certain a in certain edges from it uh, there would be at most k connected components not more than k okay so the cost of a component is defined as the maximum edge weight in that component if a component has no edge then its component cost is zero so return the minimum possible value of maximum cost among all component after such removal so we will understand with one example for example uh, this is our graph okay so uh, here k equal to 3 so what does it mean is we have to remove certain a's so that there would be um, at most k components okay and then in those components we have to find that who all are the max for example let's say we are removing suppose we are removing this edge i removed this edge and let's say I am also removing this edge, right? Now, how many components we have? We have k components. So, okay, one condition we have qualified. Now we have to look for the next condition. So, what is the what is the value of this zero one uh, component? It has max one only one, right? Only one edge. So, max equal to one here because edge itself is one. So, between two and three, what is the max? This is three. So, it would be like three in this component. And in this component, it is five okay so we have the one three and five so what is the max here max here is a uh, five right so five would be our answer not not answer but for this component this uh, this combination we have uh, uh, answer of five right the maximum value now let's say we can go back and uh, let's go again let's disconnect the some other value let's say this time i am disconnecting this edge right and I am disconnecting one more this edge. So now also we have total three components, right? So as per in the question, it is given that those component who doesn't have any edge, those value would be zero. So what would be the value of this this uh, component? Its value would be zero. What would be the value of this component? What is the max here? Three and four. So four would be the value. So we are writing four here. Four here. Okay. Now we have this component. This has only one value. So one. So now what is the max value now? The max is 4 here. So in first example we found 5 as max. This time we found 4 as max. Now we will go back and we will check whether can we get further minimum value of the max component. So uh, is it possible? Let's say we want to delete this guy. Okay, we removed 5. We also want to remove this guy. Right? So now it become uh, we have total three connected component now right so what would be the max value here this component has value zero and this component has value zero and this component has value three so now we got another max value three so now three is further smaller so far initially we found five then we found four then we found uh, this guy uh, three let's look for some other possibility right so if I delete this time, okay, let's say I'm deleting this. Okay, if I delete this guy also, because four and five we have already found. If I delete this guy also, so this time what would be, but look at their components. This time what is happening? Total components, one, two, three, four. There are four components, so it is violating the rule. So we cannot delete further, at least for this guy, the one which we deleted recently. We cannot delete that one. So can we do something else? Okay, so let's look if I delete this one. Okay, if I delete this one and uh, also if I delete this one, what would be the value? 
so again this is uh, three components so three would be our answer because in all combination three was the maximum out of all those components k components so this is what we have to do okay so now the next thing is how to do that that is the important thing one thing you can observe here that weights could go from 0 to 5 right 5 is the max weight here and the 0 would be the minimum weight because if we if we make only single node component that its value would be become 0 right so our weight would be vary from 0 to 5 now our max value that one like 3 we found when we did the component k equal to 3 we found the 3 as the minimum max so to found that uh, this would be the range right it would be somewhere between 0 to 5 right so here this gives an intuition that we can use the binary search paradigm okay what does it mean is like we can start with mid equal to whatever is the left plus right so in this case let's say left equal to 0 okay and uh, right equal to 5 right so we can find this mid equal to uh, whatever would be the left plus right divided by 2 okay so it would be initially uh, uh, it would be what 0 plus 5 divided by 2 okay so it would be 5 by 2 so it would be 2 right so we can check with the mid equal to 2 this mid is nothing but the weight right so we have to check in the graph in the edge uh, that who all are having the uh, this weight equal to uh, lesser than or equal to 2 okay so our intention is to let's say right now we are constructing a component which has maximum edge equal to 2 that means any age which has the lesser value than or equal to 2 that can come to this graph so okay let's say this time we are taking 2 as our uh, maximum weight so in that case what will who all age are eligible for this who are lesser so 0 to 1 is eligible okay so 0 to 1 is eligible is there somebody else yeah 1 to 2 is also eligible for us okay then 1 to 2 is also eligible right is there somebody else no 2 to 3 is 3 this is 4 this is 5 so others are not eligible right so now we will try to make a connected component out of this okay so how would we do that so here you can see i have created a parent uh, array okay this is just like we use the uh, union find algorithm right we have the parent array of same size how many uh, nodes are there so initially all of them are parent of itself i have filled like this 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay now what we have to do is whenever we are taking any age okay like in this case we got 0 and 1 so what is the parent of 0 0 is parent is 0 1 is parent is 1 so what we will do one of them we will choose as a leader so let's say 0 I am choosing a leader so what I will do I will make this 0 as the parent of 1 also so let me remove this guy and I would be putting here the parent uh, uh, as 0 okay for one parent also because now we are going to make a common parent now we are taking here so these are one and two okay so for parent of two would also become what is the parent of one right so using unify union find we can do that right so what will happen when you are when we are coming to this edge so two parent would also become here zero because we want to make a component so parent should be same for all of them right so this could be the one component zero 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 right so we are done for these edges now we will look for uh, that how many components are being made after this so if we make this kind of a split we have to one thing is we have to take care of the, this weight and another thing is we have to take care of whether it is uh, going beyond k or it is lesser than k that thing also we have to check right so how would we how can we do that so you can see here that uh, if we look at this parent array okay so whatever number of unique parents are there that many components would be there right because in this case what will happen 0 would be like this 0 1 and 2 this would be like this so th that's why these three guys has the same component same parent right so this will treat it as a single component okay and 3 4 5 so if we put these value in a set then duplicate value would not be there so in a set what will happen it would look like 0 3 4 5 so whatever would be the size of set at that time this size would be give us that how many components do we have so if we go in this way how many components what is the size size is 4 that means we are having 4 components but our k is at most 3 it cannot go beyond k so this combination would not be an answer for us because though we are getting the 2 as max value here 
but components are not matching it should be 3 right because k equal to 3 so now you you would have got that whatever would be the parent so all the unique values in the parent would be equal to the number of component that is why i am putting all these components into this set so here four components we can verify also right 0 1 2 then there would be like uh, uh, 3 and 4 and 5 right 3 4 and 5 if we break this in this in this way right so this would be look like this so there are four components so that is why this would not be the first of all of our solution so then what to do so if components are going beyond the uh, uh, size of k then what we will do is we will basically increase the uh, this thing the mid okay so what how would we do in the binary search paradigm we will increase the our uh, left parameter okay so now left would become our mid plus one right so our left new left what it would be our new left would be mid plus one so l would be now three two plus one equal to three and right is still five r is still five so what would be the new mid two so this would be four we will check again for four okay so we are removing these things which we have written like this we have to look for all the ages which are having less than or equal to four as value four so what will happen in this case uh, so uh, this age okay this is lesser than uh, four so this would be zero to one would be eligible okay zero to one would be eligible then two to three uh, one to two that is also eligible one to two is also eligible then two to three that is also eligible because weight is three so two to three is also eligible uh, then uh, three to four that is also eligible so uh, we will write three to four also is four to five is eligible no it is not eligible because weight is five now for these as is also we will write this thing right so what will happen the parents would be common for all these guys so what would be the parent of so from zero to one we are making zero as the parent so one parent would be also zero now one to two okay so two to three so whatever the parent of two that would be also the parent of uh, three so this also would be parent three then we have three to four right so this also guy this guy also would be having parent equal to four so now what is happening if we put these values these values into the set there would be only zero and five so now what is the size of, uh, of components component size would be two so this is lesser value so this also not be an eligible value so then what we have to do we have to look for the right this time we have to reduce it so that we can get some more number of uh, uh, values two is right would be now we will make mid so our right would become now four so what would be the new mid the new mid would be three plus four divided by two yeah yeah so it would be seven by two which is equal to three right so now new mid is equal to three so we have to look for all those ages which are smaller than or equal to three okay so what will happen zero and one yes zero and one is the eligible okay zero and one age we got so we made the one parent zero okay now one and two that is also eligible okay so one and two and the parent is already we have written so parent of two is also zero and two to three this is also eligible and parent of three we have already met equal to zero so three to four is it valid no so let let me bring back this uh, uh, because the value here is four so the parent would parent of four would be still four so we'll write it four back okay now four to five this is also not eligible because this value is five now what will happen if we put all these parent values into the set this will give us 0 4 and 5 right 0 4 and 5 so what is the set of uh, size of set size of set is k which is 3 this is 3 and k is also 3 that means this could be one of the valid answer so uh, what is the minimum what is the value here whatever value we picked here so for m equal to 3 we are getting a valid answer so similarly we have to check for all now in this case as we found that 3 is, is the answer here okay so this is what we are doing here so let me uh, uh, show you my corresponding code for it so see here first of all what we are doing uh, I have written a method uh, like you know you guys know the union and find right so this is find method to find the parent of any uh, x in the given parent uh, array okay and uh, uh, this is my union method in the union method what we do is that we are passing the a and v 
then we have to make them union so whoever is the parent of one any one of them we have to make the common parent so you guys must know the union find you can read about it's a very simple straightforward algorithm okay now we have written this union and find then what we are doing now here we are going in the binary search paradigm initially our left is zero and right we are finding from the edge array we are finding whatever is the max value okay so like in this case our max value we started with five and weight was uh, initially smallest was zero and biggest was five that we found from here in the edge array okay so now what we are doing uh, we are using this binary search paradigm while left is less than right we are taking the mid with the left plus right by two and then we have written this count component method okay this count component method when it is lesser than k we are uh, we are making right equal to mid otherwise we are going from left equal to mid plus one simple binary search now i will show what this count component method is doing okay so here we are passing whatever n and the adds uh, array and the max w max weight basically you can consider so this is the parent one where we are creating the parent of all of them initially we put zero one like that same index for the all parents so this is the part where we are starting with and then what we are doing see here we are taking all the ads which are having less than or equal to this max w okay so we are passing this max w as mid i will show you in my binary search where it is being used so see here we are doing the union of those uh, 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 those uh, uh, nodes of that age right we are making the union just like we are doing here right when we pick this 0 1 we make the union so that is why we make the parent of 0 and 1 common 0 and 0 both of them has the same parent this is what union means so we, we are doing this union here then we are creating this uh, uh, set right because once we are done with the edge uh, union we are creating this set and in this set we are putting all those values right we are putting all those values in this set whatever we have parked into this uh, parent array now this uh, set would be having all those unique values so whatever is the size of this set that is what we are returning here right so same here you can see here we have these 0, 0, 0, 4, 5. we put them into the set then set had the size 0, 4, 5, which is equal to k so this uh, uh, count component method we are using in our binary search paradigm okay so see here we found the mid and then we pass the mid as the weight for this count uh, component and x is the array which is given in the uh, in the question and n also so if it is lesser than k the count of that component once we are picking uh, weight equal to mid if it is lesser than k then we are uh, uh, increasing the value means we are making this right equal to uh, mid okay otherwise if it is uh, greater than k then we have to decrease so we are making this left equal to mid plus one so in this way while we are doing this binary search paradigm we are uh, basically uh, checking uh, with this binary search paradigm and wherever it is matching that would be our answer like in this case we found that when mid equal to three we found this uh, uh, correct value right so we are checking all the possibilities but we are checking the the one which is the smallest one so in this case there could be multiple values which are producing k equal to 3 but out of them the one which is giving the smallest value that would be our answer so let me execute this code which i have already submitted but i am again running it yeah so thank you for watching this video and if you guys have any concern please make a comment over there thank you